All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to a brand new series on the channel, Exit the Gungeon. Now, I am a huge Enemy Gungeon fan and Evolve a digital fan. I am a fan of the games and whatnot. Um, I played in the Gungeon back in 2017, all the way up until, I want to say early 2018, and then I played again briefly in, I think, 2019. Um, and more, more recently, I've been playing uh, Neon Abyss, which isn't by them, but it's it's inspired by, you know, and it's, it's similar to uh, in the Gungeon and X the Gungeon. It's a uh, dungeon crawler, shooter shooter. But nonetheless, this intro is getting a bit long-winded. Be sure to show this new series some love. Hail. Only the bravest and the most resourceful make it this far, dear Dungeoneer. Be proud to count yourself among them. However, it seems that fate is not on your side. Shot by shot, each who fired the gun weakened the magic that held these walls together. Give me your likely future. Your past need no longer concern you. To survive, you must make a daring escape. What, am I, what I'm trying to say is, you must. Exit the Gungeon. You don't have time to go back the way you came. I'll aid you as best as I know how by blessing your weapon as you make your way up. Before you attempt to escape, you should speak to Sir Manuel. Again? He claims to have mastered the ways of the dungeon and will certainly help you if you ask him to do so. Hey, he's right over there. Hey, it's the same protagonist. The pilot, the convict, the marine, and the hunter. I mean, B is to dodge roll? It used to be. Oh, we can jump? Gone. This place is unstable, you know. See? Unstable. She sent you over here, didn't she? <sighs> you need a refresher on how to master the dungeon? Actually, I do. It has been a while. From I, Sir Manuel. Oh boy. Here we go. Let's do this thing. Let's adjourn to the halls of knowledge. Wayward soul, approach me and press Y to speak. Very good. Excellent interacting. Welcome to the halls of knowledge. Here, don the head of the pupil. Let's begin. Lights. Due to the carelessness of regretful souls, wantonly firing a weapon that rips through time and space, the gungeon is crumbling. To reach the exit in time, you must ascend via the Tinker's network of makeshift elevators. I've instructed my assistant to set dress the halls of knowledge to approximate what your environment will be as you race to the top. First and most important thing to master is the dodge roll, of course, just like in the old game. Observe my assistant. Perfect dodge roll. Now, do it a few more times. Can't figure it out? That's okay, I'll remind you. The dodge roll, but I know that. Because your dodge rolling skills are so excellent. There's one other thing I would like you to try. Legends tell of an ancient gungeoneer who ascended when he dodge rolled. It is referred to as the ascending dodge roll. 
Scriptures say that to perform this fabled technique, you must press the B button. is immense discovery please do it again but this time try and go as high as you can dear caliber the height you've mounted that precipice you can also dodge roll while you're in the air by pressing b or a again before you land you should try it out when you get a chance oh nice no, that didn't work. Hmm. Try another ascending dodge roll. Perhaps if you get high enough, you'll eventually wrap around that. Wrap around and reach me again. Now you're even higher. What you really need is some kind of descending dodge roll. I have an idea. Hold L. Okay. Welcome back. Surely I must be the first to have discovered this powerful technique. Excellent. Welcome back. Now that you're well versed in all three types of dodge rolls, we can put them to use. When you dodge roll, you are invulnerable until you hit the ground. This means you can dodge roll through bullets and in the gungeon, bullets will be flying everywhere. On my command, the walls will begin to fire bullets. And it's time your dodge rolls so that the bullets pass you while you're in the air. As long as you are in the air, you are invulnerable. The easiest way to time it is to roll towards the bullets, not away from them. It can be counterintuitive, I know. I assure you, however, that this is a battle-tested technique. Ready? Gungeon, however, can only take a few hits. Oh, yep. Try again. dodge roll to come down here so we can continue. The bullets will come from above so you're in the ascending dodge roll just before you would be hit. Hey, you did okay on that pattern. You want to try it again? I'm good. Let's move on. Okay, we're nearly there. In nearly every case, a well-timed dodge roll will keep you healthy. In the gungeon, there are a lot of bullets. And bullets, like life, come at you fast. Sometimes it can be overwhelming. There may be no obvious way to dodge roll to avoid damage. For these rare situations, you must master the use of the blank. They look like this. When you use a blank, all bullets on the screen will be sent to another plane of existence. Blanks are very powerful and are such in limited supply. Use them wisely. They are the last resort of the skilled gungeoneer. Let's try them out. Some 
commonly handled items like blanks are sticky and will attach to you when you step on them. Others will need to be interacted with to be picked up. Remember that. I'm going to fire the bullets again. When I do, use a blank to erase them. Click the L and the R, okay. Just like the other ones. Or press ZR. Okay. Ready? Here they come. Duo. Blanks are a one-time use, so don't rely on them. Gun shoots. Best defense, other than the excellent defense, it's a good offense. So kill enemies quickly to reduce the threat of taking damage. To shoot, you need a gun. I remembered your favorite gun. Open the chest and take your weapon. Oh, the pea shooter. <laughs> now you're armed and mildly dangerous. When you exit the gungeon, the sorceress will bless your weapon. A blessed weapon will change its form and effectiveness every few seconds. Caliber is a mysterious deity that rewards skillful gunplay and artful dodging. Displaying prowess in combat will surely curry favor with Caliber, who may reward you with increased firepower. Basically, the higher your combo, the more likely that your gun will take the form of something powerful. Now, my assistant will play the role of one of the bloodthirsty natural inhabitants of the gungeon. Do not worry, for their safety, true gun dead will show you no mercy. The volunteer, they understand the dangers involved, and I assure you they are well protected. Use R to aim and fire your gun. When I say fire upon it. Now, shoot it. You have the mind of a killer. Truly, you are without conscience. Now remember, don't even think about shooting me. Good. The inhabitants of the gungeon are far more dangerous than what you saw from my assistant. I would be abandoning my duties as mentor if I did not prepare you for f further for the dangers ahead. It is time for your final lesson. You must now once again face me in a single combat. Show no mercy, as none shall be given. I will allow your bullets to hit me just for this exercise. Prepare yourself. student has become competent. You are untouchable. Here, don the head of the initiate. I have nothing more to teach you. Passing my test is a great achievement. That's it. We're done here. If you want to continue practice, use the machine to spawn the real gun dead one at a time. I'll be back in the under breach. Use the door to get back. Toodles! Engineer, you return from Sir Manuel's tutelage. You are now ready to 
Exit the gungeon. Dungeoneer, by the power of caliber, the great and terrible, unknowable patron of this chamber and the next, who rifles the void itself and parts the curtain, I bless your weapon. Sparkles, you should change every few seconds. Caliber bestows power to those who deserve it. The prowess you display in combat may determine the effectiveness of your weapon. Good luck. Not all in the elevator. Buff ammo. My God.
Wow, the first run. <laughs> first run. <laughs> oh my God, I couldn't get past the first run, guys. That's mm. it was like that the first time I played in the Gungeon. I, I died. Here. Hey there, pilot. Remember me? I'm Taylor the Tinker. I make the elevators. This place isn't going to last long. Save time getting out of here. I've constructed a network of elevators to help you exit the dungeon as fast as possible because the system has to work in tandem with all of you. I designed a route out of the dungeon specifically tailored to each dungeoneer. That means each dungeoneer is going to take a different route with different elevators along the way. There may be some overlap. Specifically, the first elevator is the same for all of you, but most of the rest will be different. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure how long this series is going to be, though. You know, it's, like I said, it's infinite. You can make it out. It's a great game dungeon, so it only be about 20 to 30 episodes. If that. kind of enjoy it. It's a great game of dungeon dragon. It's a good game, but... changing every five seconds, every couple of seconds. Uh, I like it better when you, when you got the chest and you unlock the other one. That way, you just shoot it. Oh, 
increased health. Is that the resource for rat <laughs> with the, the skeleton key? Hey, you. The gungeon is falling apart. So, I know we've had some minor differences in the past, but in the gungeon's final hour, let's work together, okay? Prove my sincerity, I have a gift for you. You see that key there? It opens something good, and it's yours. Go on, take it. No tricks. Excellent. Continue on your journey, Rat Key. What does it open? Of course, we buy things from this guy. So we still have to buy like the the add-ons and and buffs to the character, but in exchange, pretty much we have all the weapons at our disposal. She just blesses us, and it just changes. I like the old one better. So this probably isn't going to be too long. I, <laughs> I wouldn't hear with high expectations, but I don't know. I'm just more of a fan of Neon Abyss and the old and the Gungeon. Welcome, I'm Bello, and this is my shop, an institution of the Gungeon. Take advantage of my reasonably priced wares and gain an edge as you try to exit the Gungeon. I've got location in every chamber of the Gungeon, so I'm with you wherever you need. Use the new shopkeep ma machines to purchase guns and items. damage to enemies when bearers wounded whosoever wields this idol will have swift vengeance visited upon any who trespass against them I don't know what this does and heart contains heart shape yep same as the old one all right guys thanks for watching my name is Raven from the sky if you enjoyed the episode drop a like and subscribe to the channel the series grow take care and I'll catch you guys in the next episode Peace.